Hello, we will study about mutual entailment and compare with symmetry so you will understand how they are different. Fixed, mutual entailment and symmetry are related concepts within the framework of relational frame theory RET, which is a theory of language and cognition that emphasizes the role of relational responding in human learning and language development. Understanding these concepts helps in grasping how humans can derive relationships between stimuli beyond direct training. In the Cooper Third Edition, mutual entailment describes a bidirectional stimulus relation in which one direction example, if A, then B is directly learned and the other if B, then I is derived. Mutual entailment refers to the basic process where learning the relation between two stimuli in one direction automatically implies the relation in the opposite direction without direct training. It's a foundational aspect of developing relational frames. Now let's look some examples about mutual entailment. For language learning, if a child learns that the word dog refers to a specific animal, mutual entailment allows the child to understand that seeing this specific animal can be referred to as dog in language. The relationship between the word and the animal is understood both ways. For color identification, when a child learns that the color of the sky is called blue, mutual entailment involves the child's ability to identify the color blue when seeing the sky and to think of the sky when asked about the color blue. The relationship between blue and the sky is bidirectional. For emotional associations, if someone is told that a certain song is called happy times, Mutual entailment allows them to associate the song with the concept of happiness and to think of the song when they are feeling happy or discussing happy moments. Now, symmetry is a specific type of mutual entailment that involves the reversibility of relations between stimuli. If I is related to B, then B is related to E. Symmetry is often discussed in the context of equivalence relations along with reflexivity and transitivity. Let's look some examples about symmetry. For name and object relationship, if a child is taught that cat refers to a picture of a cat, symmetry allows the child to understand that the picture of a cat refers back to the word cat without being directly taught this reverse relation. For mathematical concepts, when a student learns that 2 equals 3, equals 5 symmetry entails that they also understand 5 results from 2 equals 3, recognizing the reversible nature of the mathematical equation. For social roles, if someone learns that Jane is Bob's sister, symmetry through mutual entailment allows them to understand that Bob is Jane's brother, assuming the bidirectional nature of sibling relationships. It's more like direct reverse relation, differ than mutual entailment. Sounds very similar between mutual entailment and symmetry. But mutual entailment is a broader concept that describes the bidirectional relationship emerging from learning one directional relationship. Symmetry is a specific type of mutual entailment focused on the reversible, bidirectional relationship between stimuli. Mutual entailment is the foundational process that allows for the development of more complex relational frames, including, but not limited to symmetry. Symmetry specifically refers to situations where the reverse of a learned relationship is automatically understood. Let's compare with detail example to understand completely. For learning colors in mutual entailment, if a child learns that the color blue is different from red, blue, red, they inherently understand that red is different from blue, red, blue without being explicitly taught the reverse. In symmetry, after learning that this color is blue while pointing at a blue object, the child can recognize a blue object when asked, which one is blue? Here, the relationship between the concept of blue and the actual color blue is recognized as bidirectional.
Also, in mutual entailment, when taught that green is lighter than purple green purple, the child implicitly understands that purple is darker than green purple green. In symmetry, when a child is taught to select a green object upon hearing, find green, and later, when shown a green object, can say green without direct instruction. They are demonstrating symmetry. The understanding works both ways between the label green and the color green. Another example for learning colors in mutual entailment. If it is explained that yellow is brighter than orange, yellow, orange in brightness, the child naturally understands that orange is less bright than yellow, orange, yellow in brightness. In symmetry, after being taught that a specific color is purple by saying, this is purple, the child can identify another object of the same color as purple. Saying purple when seeing it, showing an understanding of the color's name and appearance as interchangeable. Key difference. In mutual entailment, focuses on the inherent. Often one directional relationship derived from an initial learning phase. It's about understanding the reciprocal nature of relationships, even if they're not explicitly taught in both directions. The key is in the relational aspect, example given, lighter than, different from and the natural understanding of its opposite, or reciprocal without being explicitly taught. In the other hand, symmetry involves explicitly recognizing and applying the bidirectional nature of relationships. It's more about the interchangeability of stimuli within those relationships, such as knowing the name of a color and being able to apply that name both when seeing the color and when being asked to identify the color verbally or visually. Let's practice with some mock example. Sarah is learning about the concept of bigger and smaller through playing with blocks. Her teacher explains that block E is bigger than block B. Without further instruction, Sarah concludes that block B is smaller than block E. What concept does Sarah's understanding demonstrate? 1. Reflexivity. 2. Symmetry. 3. Mutual entailment. 4. Transitivity. Correct answer is 3. Mutual entailment. Let me explain. Sarah's conclusion demonstrates mutual entailment because she understands the reciprocal relationship between bigger and smaller. Based on the initial relationship taught block E is bigger than block B automatically entails. Block B is smaller than block E. It is not reflexivity because reflexivity involves recognizing something as the same as itself not inferring a reciprocal relationship. It is not symmetry, as symmetry involves reversing relationships while maintaining their structure, not deducing inherent reciprocal qualities. Transitivity involves relating two relationships to deduce a third, which is not what Sarah is doing here. Mock Exam 2 After learning that the word cold in English translates to freo in Spanish, Jake is later able to indicate that frio means cold in English when asked, despite not being explicitly taught this direction. Which concept best explains Jake's ability? 1. Reflexivity. 2. Symmetry. 3. Mutual entailment. 4. Transitivity. Correct answer is 2. Symmetry. Let me explain. Jake's ability to reverse the learned translation between cold and freo demonstrates symmetry. He understands that if cold equals freo, then freo equals cold, indicating a bidirectional relationship. It's not mutual entailment, which would involve understanding relationships' inherent reciprocal nature without necessarily reversing it. Reflexivity and transitivity do not apply here, as they involve recognizing something as the same as itself. 
and deducing new relationships from existing ones, respectively. Mock Exam 3. In a study session, Maya learns that if event A studying leads to event B good, grades, and event B leads to event C college acceptance, she concludes that event A leads to event C. What concept is Maya utilizing to make this conclusion? 1. Reflexivity. 2. Symmetry. 3. Mutual entailment. 4. Transitivity. Correct answer is 4. Transitivity. Let me explain. Mia is using transitivity by connecting two learned relationships to deduce a new third relationship without being directly taught this connection. Studying leads to good grades, and good grades lead to college acceptance, so studying leads to college acceptance. This is not an example of mutual entailment, which would involve recognizing the inherent reciprocal nature of a single relationship. Reflexivity and symmetry are not demonstrated here as they involve recognizing something as the same as itself and understanding bidirectional relationships, respectively. Mock Exam 4 When Leo is taught that joy is the opposite of sadness, he automatically understands that sadness is the opposite of joy. Which relational concept is Leo demonstrating? 1. Reflexivity 2. Symmetry 3. Mutual entailment. 4. Transitivity. Correct answer is 3. Mutual entailment. Let me explain. Liu demonstrates mutual entailment by understanding the reciprocal nature of the relationship between joy and sadness, based on learning one direction of the relationship. This is not an example of symmetry, which would involve reversing learned relationships, nor is it reflexivity, as that involves recognizing an item as the same as itself. Transitivity, involving deducing a new relationship from two existing ones, does not apply to this scenario, which focuses on understanding the inherent reciprocal relationship between two concepts. That's it today. I hope you understand better now between symmetry and mutual entailment. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe channel. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.